One of the most well-known and controversial figures in Washington politics is telling his life story. The memoir, Mayor for Life, the incredible story of Marion Barry Jr., goes on sale tomorrow. But D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford has had a chance to read it. And Sam is live in Northwest Washington tonight with what the former mayor is revealing. Sam? Maureen, we're outside Barnes & Noble booksellers in uh, downtown Washington. And among the things in the book, Barry talks about being a young civil rights activist, being locked up and fearing that the Ku Klux Klan will get him before he's out of jail. But the majority of the book is about his life in Washington, where oft times it was uh, uh, politics by day, women, sex, and drugs by night. It's called Mayor for Life, where Barry tells his story from early days in Memphis and the civil rights movement to the height of his prestige as mayor of D.C. to his downfall. People said they'll buy it. Overall, I think he's a good guy, and I'd like to learn more about him. Yeah, I think it'd be interesting. I would read it. The FBI spent millions of dollars trying to... Get at me. Today on the Tom Joyner Show with Roland Martin, they wanted to know about Barry's ex-girlfriend, Rashida Moore, used in the FBI sting when Barry was arrested for smoking crack. You're talking about uh, she set me up. Did she set you up, ma'am? Barry said she was pressured with jail, loss of her children. She was a victim also in terms of uh, having a serious drug problem. In print, Barry says he tried to get more off drugs, once breaking her crack pipe. Rashida grabbed my arm while I broke it. She started screaming, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. She was freaking out over me taking her drugs away and breaking her crack pipe. I did it anyway and told her to pack up your blank and go. I was pissed. But then later, he succumbed. His co-writer is novelist Omar Tyree, who lives in Charlotte, but attended Howard University in D.C. He's been on the New York Times bestseller list for fiction revolving around the urban black struggle and romance. It's great to hear Marion's side of the story. He's a great politician. He's served the people of D.C. for years. I want to hear what Marion has to say, and I'm excited to read it. The book goes on sale here tomorrow, uh, here and around the area. Uh, Barry is also supposed to be doing a book signing at this uh, bookstore uh, next week, and he's going to be speaking at the press club. He declined to do an interview with us today, citing contractual obligations with the publisher, Simon & Schuster. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.